Hi everybody. So this is my test of the Sew Over It Bonnie Top. Do not look at my button band. It is diabolical. I basically had my sewing machine eat it and so I had to do the best I could. So the button band is exposed and the buttonholes are actually like badly placed. I have a couple press studs in there just to keep it closed. But this is the top and I'm wearing it with a Pattern Emporium Symphony skirt, which as you can see is quite high-waisted. This top is pretty short, it is a waisted top, so you definitely have to wear it with a high-waisted skirt or pant. Um, I cannot wait to make this a second time. This is in Rayon Chalet, and um, it is uh, all around. It's a size 10. I graded to a size 12 in the sleeve just so I had enough sleeve room to get my arm over my head. The length on me I think is just about perfect. It looks really nice with a cardigan. I'll just pop this back on. This is a uh, one of my mini Andy Satterlund cardigans, another heady. This time with a v-neck. Um, sadly, this is a discontinued pattern, but you can go to untanglingknots.com and find a template for making your own top-down sweaters, which is a really good way to recreate this. I'll try to link that down below. But yeah, with a sweater, I think it's a really cute look. I think it's very 40s, very late 30s, and I'm very pleased. Have you guys made the Bonnie? And if so, comment down below and let me know what you think of your version.